All right, so my goggles definitely suffered from the double vision. Basically, I can't use them in their current form. Moving the sliders does change the distance like this. It's not just moving a window, it's actually moving the whole screen. The screen's back here. And what I found by taking them apart, uh, just like uh, the original video, my lens needs to be turned outward like that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, for it to line up properly. It's, it's screen alignment. Um is the problem and I was able to fix it with a toothpick I didn't have to do any drilling or cutting or gluing or anything like that and theoretically you could put it right back to the way they were if you sell them or whatever but anyway so if you look at this this whole assembly is moving when you push on this this is the focus wheel there's the one that you actually can roll but this moves a little bit, so I need to turn this whole assembly this way. And what I found was, if you loosen this screw right here, just a couple of turns, it loosens this whole piece up to where now, now it really moves. And that's what I need. I need, about, I need it to be out like that, so I just have to figure out how to hold it in place. What I found is, if you look, I don't know how much this is going to focus, but if you look right here, there's two little pins or nubs or whatever that are sticking up. And I thought, oh, maybe I can just wedge something in there so when I tighten it back down, it stays uh, at an angle. And I got a piece of toothpick, and I took a piece of toothpick and stuck it in there. Of course, it's not going to work very easy because I'm actually recording. Wrong tweezers. So I just push it out. Ah. Obviously, I'm not editing any of this. I don't do YouTube videos, so... So now it's in there. Just tighten this back up a little bit. Set it back in there. All the parts back in. And you're good to go. I gotta just put the screws back in. Now in this, like I said, this worked for me. The uh, all the adjustments still work. Um, they still everything still slides, so you can actually still adjust it if you need to but for me uh, it lined the screens up perfectly and I can actually use them now uh, taking it apart uh, really all you need to do is uh, you take out the four screws on the bottom using a small screwdriver and then you carefully pop the the lens off uh, there's really nothing really holding it on other than friction uh, just snaps on around the eyepieces and then uh, there's a couple of clips um, on the front of the goggles here. You can see there's a clip there and there. Um, and I just pried it apart. I pushed on the, you know, just stuck my finger you know, in between there and, and it popped apart. So it actually comes apart pretty easy. Uh, and then I undid the, the fan switch over here and I took the fan out of the cover just because uh, I was just investigating wanted to take it apart. Uh, theoretically, I think you could probably leave the fan in the cover uh, and just unplug this for easier access. And I also popped the the ribbons off um, here to to move them around so I could uh, get better access. And to pull, if you do want to pull those off, all you need to do is I just stuck my fingernail right 
under that there's a little clip these are little flip clips I just you just stick your fingernail uh, under there I don't like to use any metal object or anything because I don't like to, I don't want to risk damaging anything but you just basically flip it up it's just a little flap it'll turn from flat to up as soon as it flips up you can pull the ribbon out reassemble you just slide the ribbon in and then just push the flat back down and uh, you should be good to go hope that helps um, I'm looking forward to to using these on the quadcopter and hopefully that'll help somebody